power of his love. Wherever he's at, he's in that holy place always. You're going to be in that glory, resting in him, growing in him, uh, panting for him, wanting to be in him. Hallelujah. That's where you're going to be at. You're going to be in the word of God. You're going to be in rejoicing. You're going to be thankful and all that. You're going to do what the word says because you're his sheep. You're his bride. Therefore, the manifestation of being his bride is the, is the word is being manifest again in flesh as joint heirs with Christ. His word manifest in flesh. Now it's manifested again because we've been adopted as sons and daughters, given the same thing. He said, I give you the morning star as my father gave me the morning star. You understand? Somebody needs to understand what, 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 what's going on here. Amen. He's we're, 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 we're the, he said, he says, you're the light of the world, brothers and sisters. Yeshua said, you are the light of the world. A city that has been lit cannot be hid. It can, it's like a city set on a hill. It can't be hid. So we're the word. Uh, manifest again in flesh. We're a written epistle read by all men. You understand? Read by all men. We're the word of God read by all men in our actions because he's manifested in us by his purpose and grace and the grace of God in us labors. The grace of God in us puts off a vibration that our body reacts to. So we do good things. We do righteous things because of the grace of God in us. Does it? Not us, but the grace of God in us does it. It's Christ in us. We are crucified with Christ, yet we live. Yet Christ liveth in us. You understand?